with most people across the country easing into a long weekend. We're out on the patio with Barbecue and Naz who's going to show us what a lot of people might be doing this weekend. And grilling. Barbecuing. Barbecuing. Grilling. grilling. You know, grilling and barbecuing are two different things. I bet I you a lot of people. That. Grilling is something that takes less than 20 minutes of cooking time. When you're caramelizing, you get that brown finish on the food. Barbecuing is a low and slow process. Anything over 20 minutes of cooking time, you'll get some smoke flavor, you get some drippings, they vaporize. Big difference between the two. Okay. So there's a tip of the, the week. Ling the lingo. Oh, okay. I, I already show what we're going to do. That's you not did. good. That's, That's not okay. good. Okay. Can we talk, though, about these beef prices that are skyrocketing? And it's why we're doing pork today. And why, we're doing, <laughs> and why we're doing pork today. Pork is getting a little expensive out there, and hopefully it'll stabilize. But I, I think one of the key factors is uh, this young generation, we need more farmers. We, more, we need more cattle farmers. These older guys are starting to retire and sell off everything. Get out there and farm, young guys, or we're not going to have the meat is going to be so in five to eight years it'll probably be a like one of those pricey things if you don't have the coin you're not going to end up you know getting a nice piece of steak okay you people, heard it from us people tried to do the beef briskets and less expensive cuts even those are getting expensive it's so all getting expensive but so what today are we we're going to do pork, pork. <laughs> what are we doing with the lovely we're going to take a nice little uh, pork chop here bone in and whatnot nice one inch two inch cut it's people really thick. yeah people always have this tendency to dry out pork yeah so i'm going to show you a really easy way first of all we're going to do a brine okay so show me we're gonna, we're gonna do about a cup of beer. Okay. You're gonna add some brown sugar in there, about a tablespoon Sweeten of brown it up sugar, a little, bit. a little bit of the spice, your favorite barbecue rub, mm, yummy, whole garlic and whole uh, garlic. and rosemary. And while you're doing that, I'll give you some lime juice as well. Okay. Then you're gonna add, put this in there. Make sure I don't get you. That's okay. Go ahead. I'm putting the rosemary in. You put that in a resealable bag or on a marinating or in a on a marinating dish. Yeah. You shake this up. I use these jars because it's easier to shake everything up. So you describe the difference between barbecuing and grilling. What's the difference between brine and marinade? Well, brining is, I, there's, oh, we forgot the salt, the most oh, important uh -oh. thing. We Thank you. for brine, Thank right? you for bringing that in. That's yeah. about a tablespoon and some pepper. Thank you for bringing that no in. No problem. Brining helps give you a bigger window when you're grilling. If we didn't brine this and we just put some spice on it, you might have, you know, that window for overcooking it is going to be this small. When you put, when you brine it, you add some acidity to it, you add some salt to it, it brings out, go, opens up the uh, pork, the flavors go in and then it closes it up, gives you a bigger window to grill and less tendency to overcook it. So we just put it in there, put it in the fridge for about three hours, two to three hours, you flip you them over. Soak it well. Yeah, you want to soak it, it'll brine it. And then you put it on the grill, pardon my back. And you've got this at what temperature? Now? Right now I have it at a medium low temperature. You're going to grill that for five minutes each side. Uh, and if you want to add a little bit more rub on it as well, we put on the corn. Mm. The corn, all I did was put on a little bit of, um, of olive oil on it, spray it on, and the pineapple. We also grilled some pineapple. So while these things are sitting, yes. we're going to take them off here. Actually, let's take them off so we don't overcook them. And we're going to make a nice little salad for this. They look so good. Very, very and simple. And they smell so good. You take them off at about 155 degree temperature. Okay, you want to not overcook your, your pork, take it off at 155, let it sit, you can put it in a container, you can cover it, and let it finish cooking. The juices are all in the middle, you want them to redistribute, and that way when you cut the pork, it's juicy right it's through. perfect. Right through. So now let's do the uh, the salad. Okay. The corn and, and uh, pineapple salad. We grilled some corn up. You're going to put some grilled pineapple right in there. Love all the flavors. Some red uh, pepper and some red onions. The color is wonderful. We're going to do some cilantro as well. And I'm going to make a dressing for this really quickly. About uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. You want to open that up for me? I'll open that up. A little bit of Tabasco. And as we do this, some I'm going to let people juice. know that this is all on the website. Yes. Okay. A little bit of Tabasco, some honey, lime juice, mix it all up, and then we'll show you when it's finished. How's okay. That? Why don't we show, you know what? We'll maybe bring some in and show people when it's Absolutely, finished. Absolutely. I'll do that. Okay. Thank you so much. A little bit of so uh, honey as well. I love the honey. As we said, it's all on the website if you want to check out Naz's recipe. We're back on AM after this. More salt and pepper. I love the honey though in there. That's fantastic.